from CII, Apex National Body, Sri Shivanarayan Kohl, Eastern Zone Chief of CII, Sri Siddharth Pradhanji, the organizer of this two-day brainstorming session, the Purvodaya Initiative, and Reflections on Regional Connectivity. Distinguished dignitaries from different organizations, government bodies, friends from industry, academia, and young friends. I'm welcoming all of you in my native state, Odisha, for this uh, important discussion. Prime Minister Modi coined the word Purvodaya in 2016. In literally meaning, Purvodaya is not a new concept. Sun always rises from the eastern part of the world. It's a coincidence, it's a nature. We all represent the eastern part of the globe. And the great Konark temple is here in Odisha. Konark temple is a scientific point, we believe. The first sun rays goes through the Konark temple. So naturally, Prime Minister Modi re-emphasized on this concept unless until eastern part of the country come up to a level our nation cannot move ahead. Friends, I am congratulating the organizer CII and the Energy Forum with the participation, with the blessing, with the cooperation of Ministry of External Affairs, Government of India. Government of India, in the leadership of Prime Minister Modi, strongly believe thinking leaders, thought leaders are, they are in a different part of the country. They have their own regional expertise, regional aspiration, regional authority on the issues, there must be a churning, there must be a discussion on some of the opportunity issues which will create, which this, this kind of churning will create to help to build a road map for developed India, because it's Bharat. Next 25 years is very important for all of us. Now Prime Minister Modi is leading it in front, from the front. We all have to come together and put our ideas and our minds to create a roadmap for the developed India, for the Bikasit Bharat. With this background, when you're talking about Purvadev, friends, what is uh, the primary geographical definition of Purvadev? What is its importance? My understanding of the eastern part of the India is if you go to Banaras, you will find out a term. You will find out this term in Delhi also, in the national capital. Those who are from the eastern part of the Uttar Pradesh, from the Bihar, in Delhi they are known as a Purvanchali. In the national context, eastern part of the India starts from the Banaras, from the Ghat of Gangas to Ganga Sagar. From Kalinga Patanam, port of today, present day is Andhra Pradesh. In the India, in the present day of independence India, it can go up to the border of Bangladesh. It can go up to the northeastern part of our country. If we expand it a little bit culturally, it can go up to the 
exact foothill of Himalaya from Nepal, Bhutan, our beloved Bangladesh, and also Myanmar. If I put a raw statistics in front of you, today's globe population, crude population, people are there in our globe today, Roughly around 10% of that 800 crore are residing in this zone. Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, West Bengal, Odisha, Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, part of Andhra Pradesh, Ananda, Northeastern states, and Bangladesh, Myanmar, Bhutan, and Nepal. Putting together, it's roughly around 10% of the global population are here in this part of the world global population are here in this part of the world. With this definition, just see the importance, the, see the character of the people, see the climatic condition of this area, see the opportunity of this area, see the challenges of this area. So I am happy Minister of External Affairs is leading this dialogue and discussion how to create a new perspective, how to especially focus on the connectivity. Connectivity is very important in the all kind of development, be it economy, be it social. Just imagine, connectivity is the main integrator among the civilizations. The Chinese uh, traveler, when Shah came to India centuries ago, Adi Shankaracharya traveled all part of country, also eastern part of country. He hails from the southern part of the country. In those days, there was no indigo. There was no Vande Bharat trains. On his walking in a limited span of his life, he covered all part of country. Connectivity is an important point for integrating the country, to creating new ideas among the countries. Because with this background, if we go ahead, and I, all my previous speakers mentioned about Bali Yatra. Bali Yatra is essentially a matter of connectivity. In these days, centuries ago, in these days, the seafarers from this part of the globe started their journey. After a few months of trading, they, every year they used to come back to the mainland, brought fortune, brought prosperity, brought new ideas. Also, whenever they went outside, they took new ideas, prosperity to different parts of the world. The ample of evidences are there. I don't want to repeat all these things. If we analyze the archaeological aspect of this part of the globe, just imagine, wonders are here in this part of the globe. In all kind of resource, all kind of intangible heritages are there. There is a history. There is a present challenges in this area. Healthcare is a challenge. Education is a challenge. Job opportunity is a challenge in the entire part. See the migratory population of the world. You go to every, any, any country of the world, you will find people from this part of the world, be it India, be it Myanmar, be it Bangladesh. We have to create a new economy where new jobs can be created in this part of the land. This should be the basic point to ponder over for this uh, two-day workshop. Um, I agree with uh, Dr. Kakodkar when we, few friends, we envision the energy forum from the initial days, uh, Dr. Kankarkar is a pattern of this institution, this think tank. And I strongly believe energy can be a 
new instrument to create new jobs and new opportunities and sustainability is a primary area to ponder over about energy he has suggested certain things jodi apanku amo video ti bhal lagila tebe amo channel ku like share aur subscribe karipa ku jama bhi bolantu nahi